Total Warhammer 3 is a game dedicated to the complete and utter destruction of your enemies, with a host of insanely strong factions, like fire-wielding demons, your typical Walmart customer, and of course, vodka enthusiasts. So with a myriad of powerful factions to choose from, I've decided that I'm not going to play Warhammer at all, and have instead opted for tending to my fields in Farm Simulator 22. Only this time, cultivating my land now involves anointing the soil with a rich crimson hue, a testament to my unwavering dedication to nurturing my crops. Meet Lord Turox, who will be our host for the night. Turox is the physical embodiment of what would happen if you injected a Big Mac with one liter of Trenbolone and testosterone at the same time. He is a giant raging bull who wants one thing and one thing only, the smoke. Today, we are going to be creating an entire army of juiced up roided cows that spray dairy all over our lactose intolerant enemies. You might not want to stick around for the aftermath. Now, the rules for this challenge are simple. If it moves and or produces milk, then it's fair game. If it's anything else, we kill it. It is worth mentioning that at the start of the campaign, we're going to have to use some goat units as there are simply no cow units available in the early game. So essentially, we're going to to ride it out with some goats until they give us a lift to our giant steamy bulls. The goal for this challenge is the same as always, to achieve a short victory with Lord Turox and his group of walking carbon emissions, while simultaneously laughing in an increasingly maniacal fashion. Now if you guys like this video and you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. And if you really like it around here, then why not join the Discord and kick it with some fellow mentally deranged individuals. Alright, with all of that out out of the way, angry cow stampeding the world, let's roll. Thank you for that well-articulated piece of knowledge, Torox. Okay, so essentially, Lord Torox and the Slaughterhorn tribe, exactly what you would imagine them to be. They inject testosterone straight into their bloodstream, and they try to solve every problem they can with violence. Like the majority of our challenges, the very first thing we have to do is get rid of most of our units. So all of you four boys, get the hell out of here. All right, so that leaves us with seven units that we are able to use. Now, this guy is not a cow, so he's not going to help us much at all, but he can give us some good intel. So let's just start marching him down that way. And we're going to take old busty boy Lord Turox over here, the brass bull, and we're going to charge headfirst into this settlement right down here. Oh, yes. Look at him run. Do we want to fight? No, we're not fighting the first one. We fought the first battle way too many times. We decimated them. And holy crap, look at the Minotaurs. 246 kills with that unit right there. And the very first thing we're going to do is raise a herdstone. All right, so we have got our very first herdstone and we completed our one and only challenge, I believe. Yes, we have no missions right now. <laughs> so building a herdstone allows us to raise a settlement in that herdstone's blood grounds in order to get devastation. And when we reach 10 devastation, it allows us to complete the ritual of ruin. As you can see right now, the ritual is locked. And once we complete the ritual of ruin, ruin, it will convert the herdstone's devastation level into marks of ruination, which basically just unlocks a whole bunch of unit and army capacity. Any settlements that we raise in these red blood grounds are going to build the amount of devastation points that we get in our herdstone. All right, so the rough plan is to destroy everyone in this nice crimson circle of death and then complete the ritual of ruin and rinse and repeat. The beastmen have some other really, really cool things that we have to take a look at. Like they have a whole bunch of rewards that they give you in the rewards of dread. Now dread is basically the currency used to increase the unit or hero capacity. And you can get some other beastmen, legendary lords, and some other type of upgrades here. So essentially the beastmen are similar to the Mongols, only instead of fluffy hats and horses, they have horns and udders. All right, let's take a look at our diplomacy. And yep, the whole world hates us. What the hell did the cows ever do? I mean, besides violently raiding and murdering and pillaging all of the villagers close to them. All right, we're going to go and destroy this Venom Glade over here. These poor sods, they're about to get destroyed. A decisive victory. We'll take that. Thank you very much. The old cowboys are doing great. So with this, we're going to loot and raise. And we get 
$2,000 for that. Okay, so as you can see here, after that battle, we now can perform the ritual, but we don't want to. We're going to keep going and keep destroying enemies. Hoofed heavyweights, we're already going to start buffing our monitors. Minotaurs? So our Lostra is already on our doorstep. We're going to be really careful because as we know from our last campaign, she is freaking tough, man. So marks of ruination are important because we need to have at least 220 to get the short campaign victory. All right, so we've now got enough, man. We're going to go and take this, the cycle of destruction, and raise that shit to the ground. Let's go, Turox. We've got an angry, giant, screaming, raging bull versus Lady Gaga. One good thing about all of our units is that we're all pretty quick. So whenever we get that full stack of Minotaurs, we're going to be incredibly beefy and fast at the same time. So my strat right now is to set all of these guys up in like a line and then charge around on the rears with the Minotaurs. All right, here we go. Here we have some incredibly angry bulls. <laughs> all right, Turox, what can you do here? He's just... <laughs> He's like a bloody snowplow. Oh my god. Everyone get out of his way. He's just trying to finish his 9 to 5 job. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> These bodies are just flying everywhere, man. This is going to be a fun campaign. All right, so now we have a giant angry bull versus a uh, tiny little emo chick. All this needs is a Brazzers logo, and this is getting demonetized. All right, there we go. We have won our first battle. All right, so the Minotaurs did absolutely phenomenal in that fight. Look at that unit getting 271 kills. So as soon as we can get Minotaurs, the better. The goal of this campaign is to just straight up field an entire 20 stack of pure cows. Okay, so with that fight done, we have destroyed the Dark Elves, and now our ritual will give us 16 points of devastation instead of 10, and there's actually nothing else that we can really get points for now, so we're going to go ahead and perform that ritual. Alright, so now we're on 16 marks of ruination. Let's put some more respect on those cows' names. Alright, so now we can actually increase the level of our war herd to the second tier, which once we do that it's going to allow us to get even better units which we can't actually use so that means nothing but we need to get through tier three because that way we are able to get the minotaurs finally and that's all we're going to be doing so tier three and tier four is basically the only thing that we care about let's go down there and start a war with silostra uh what do we want to do here it reckons we're going to get a pyrrhic victory i reckon we can get better than a pyrrhic victory so let's see the fact that our entire army is pretty fast and for the most part gets vanguard deployment means that we can jump on whoever we're fighting ridiculously quickly oh my god that is the most terrifying thing i've seen all day <laughs> A bunch of angry monitors coming out from the forest and just creating waves out of literal bodies. Yeah, once we get an army full of these guys, I'm sure you can imagine the absolute carnage that we're going to cause. We're to be careful because Torox is so big, he can get shot very, very easily. Uh, now we can uh, watch Silostra versus a giant angry Turox. Honestly, I could just sit back and uh, just watch this fight all day. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, we've killed Silostra. With that fight, that is the first of what I would assume to be many battles against Silostra. All right, so now we're going to use the dread that we've got to get the second level of the Herdstone. There is so many mechanics with these freaking angry bulls, man. Oh my God. All right, no worries. Hotex column is done. And we're actually going to raise another Herdstone. Look at that. So now if we click here, the blood grounds cover the Twisted Glade, the Black Forest and the Monoliths. So we got to go and sack all of those places and then complete the next round ritual. What I just realized is every time you unlock that new herdstone, it seems like it automatically goes to the second or whatever kind of level you already have. If we upgrade to tier five, you automatically get a tier five herdstone. Well, 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 look who it is. You know, there comes a very important time in every man's life where he must reject a mildly obese opera singer in favor for pure cold hard destruction. 
Oh my god, we get another 5% speed bonus for all units. Destroy these bad boys. Yep, that's fine. Easy. No worries. Loot and raise that to the freaking ground. This campaign is incredibly fast paced. Like, we've already gone ahead and captured that, raised this province, that province, and got another one over here and sacked that. And it's all within 10 turns. And we're well on our way to destroying the Twisted Glade. So yeah, these boys are all about moving fast paced rage and anger into the freaking heart of the enemy so it's gonna be a fun campaign man well 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 look at that they've stumbled into our grasp you know what i love about playing as these cowboys is that even though these guys attacked us we're still ambushing them <laughs> Oh, it just seems like a cheat code. It really does. We're going to get a first class seat into the complete cow destruction. <laughs> oh, there goes that guy. I have a sneaky suspicion that this guy is not having a good time right now. I mean, could you just imagine how terrifying Turox would actually be in real life? Just like stop and think about that for a second. He's using these guys as a freaking slip and slide. Only I think he's sliding down with blood, not water. And here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at Zorox right now, man. Holy shit. Look at the amount of blood. Oh my God. That was something. Goodbye, Silostra. This is the end of you. Oh, beautiful. Orgy of Slaughter. How can you not choose that? We're going to upgrade our Warherd to tier three, which means we're going to be able to get Minotaurs. Although we need 6,000 favor first. So yeah, we got to do that. All right. These guys are declared war on me. What's the bet? Yep. There we go. Oh shit. They're strength rank four. We got to be careful of them. They're right next to us too. Honestly, we're going to do it. Bang. Holy shit. I didn't realize so many of my units to be wiped out. Oh my God. Look at this unit. 347 kills. That's insane. All right. We have 6,000 though. Oh yes. Here we go. Let's get some freaking Minotaurs in the next turn. Brass body. It makes Torox, who's already a tank, even more tanky. Although we can recruit Minotaurs now, the way that the Beastman mechanics work is that there are unit caps on certain troop types. So in order to source our own army of walking A5 Wagyu beefsteaks, we need to increase the unit capacity for each Minotaur unit in the rewards of Dread tab. But in order to boost our recruitment capacity for the Minotaurs, we have to get ourselves all the way up to 100 marks of ruination. Trait gained. Oh, shit. Ambush success chance plus 5%. Oh, my God. Now it's just getting ridiculous. Yeah, let's take out the monoliths. We got to be strong enough. Yeah, decisive victory. Easy. All right, loot and raise these bad boys. Harsh rampage achieved. Bang. All right, so here's another freaking mechanic to this campaign. This campaign is so complicated, but you get different ramp pages and right now we're at the first level of rampage so we're in the harsh rampage and what we're going to do is we're actually going to claim the horrific onslaught one which gives us plus 50 dread debuffs the enemy and gives the enemy leadership negative eight and then gives them also negative eight melee defense so let's claim that all right so with that battle one we have now raised everything within our second bloodland so let's perform that ritual Oh, bang. We just got 30 marks of ruination from that. That's massive. Oh, yes. This is where we're going to buff the living shit out of the Minotaurs. Yes, please. Torox has leveled up. He's now level 13. And with that, we can now get the Gore Feast ability. It gives them the passive ability to replenish their own hit points and then buffs the crap out of them with the Gore Greed. So basically, the more troops that they kill, the stronger they get. All right, so we're going to get ourselves one gore bull chuck him in the army and then we're also going to recruit a doom bull that is going to be this bad boy over here as we've got our first actual hero that we care about we are going to rename this bad boy angus and our secondary lord over here that we've just recruited i wonder what his name's going to be patty 
So we have now got Angus and Patty into the incredibly talented and incredibly tasty lineup of cows. So now the plan is to steamroll the rest of the elves because god damn it we hate elves so much the cows just can't get enough of stampeding those dirty little pointy eared fucks. Alright slave is point you freaking bastards. Get wrecked by this raging angry bull. Alright take this. We get a little bit of dread. That's good. That's nice. And we're gonna raise a herd stone here. Okay. Awesome. Now we can get a total of 26 points of devastation in this blood grounds. Oh my god and if you zoom out the entire land is getting painted red man. Oh look how much land is red. Oh Holy crap. Let's go this guy. Let's rename him Beefy Boy. And we're going to put him in that army with old Angus. So now we have Angus, Paddy, and Beefy Boy. Oh my god, look at Paddy. Ah, oh, beautiful. We could be fucked here. We really could be fucked. <laughs> Oh my god, it thinks we're gonna win? He is like an entire army of just ranged units, basically. I'm struggling to decide what to do here because we can't just sit off and wait at range because we're gonna die if we do that. Oh no, Turox is getting eaten alive over here. Nah, no, we gotta get Turox out of there. All right, these guys are getting destroyed over here. That's good, that's good. I hate archers so much. They're the bane to my existence, I tell you. We've lost so many men though, it's not even funny. All right, everyone should be breaking. We won, oh my god. Yeah, that army might come down and uh, destroy that province. Yes, it did. Oh, fuck. Close defeat is better than a uh, decisive one. You see, the reason why it's never a good idea to attack a pissed off steroid abusing bull is that when he eventually fights back, and he will fight back, he'll stomp on you so ferociously that you'll turn into some sort of weird mush that mildly resembles some type of dairy and leave you with the final words you'll ever hear. You got milked, bro. We just got 17k. Holy shit. Oh shit. The elves are coming for us. Oh my god. I just have elves everywhere around me. All right. Passive ability. Leadership plus four. Give to these boys. For everyone saying I wasn't using banners, look at me now, boys. I'm using banners. Oh shit. We actually just destroyed those freaking elves. Thank the lord. All right. We got 20 points of ruination. Let's perform the ritual. Bang. 20 marks of ruination. So now we're... We are at, uh, we have 66, two more mark checkpoints, and then we can start to increase the capacity for the Minotaurs. We're approaching the halfway point. We've currently got 12 out of the 35 settlement sack. Okay, so one thing I have just completely neglected, I don't know how I forgot about it. You can actually replenish Torox's movement range. Look at this cheese right here. Oh my God, you get a whole entire another movement range. Oh shit. They want want $1,800 or they are going to declare war on us. <laughs> oh man, do I give it to them? All right, we're going to give it to them. We're going to give it to them. Stuff it. Oh man, these sisters must not have heard about what happened to the other elves. They crossed us. Knock, knock. Open up. It's the milkman, bitch. All right, awesome. We've taken out like most of these freaking elves. I'm going to send these guys down that way. And I'm going to send Turox down this way. And we're going to just kind of slowly envelop them. Oh, look at this. They want peace. Absolutely freaking not. And raise our next herd stone. So now we have all of these bloodlands to collect sweet, sweet heads from. Let's destroy this. Loot and raise that shit. And then we come down here. And I reckon we win this. Surely we win this. Oh my god. The Minotaur units are just cracked. They are insane. Once we build them up, man. And get rid of these crappy units here. Like, look at them. 8 kills, 15 kills. Terrible, man. Oh my god. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get the banner off. Of madness and we can buff one of these units down here so we just got to remember to actually use it <laughs> all right let's destroy these guys oh my god this one unit of angry freaking cows got 516 kills oh my god i really need to get some more bulls okay now this is where the true power of this campaign comes in we can start to get a whole bunch of armies and just stack them pure numerical superiority and just wipe out the wood sisters loot and raise there we go 13k all right we've just declared war on the kislev too and destroy them 
person. All right, now with that, we can finally perform the ritual. Oh yeah, baby. So with that, we can now increase the amount of Minotaurs that we can get. Here we go. We can get more Minotaurs. Oh, hold on. We got some Scally boys coming behind us. Oh, that sounds fucking, oh, whatever. All right, we're actually going to fight this. I reckon we have a decent chance at success here. Well, I guess not. All right, let's keep increasing that Minotaur unit capacity. Okay, so it seems like a homeless lady from New York has stumbled into our pastures and tried to strip the sweet, sweet beef off our very, very beefy boys. Oh my God, PC, PC, are you okay? Oh no, the game crashed. Oh, that guy got destroyed. Here we go, Turox is double teaming a homeless woman who has been rescued by an ethereal bat. Okay, some nice close-up Turox destruction. Oh my God. Like Turox wasn't already good enough on his own. He needed backup from Turox's army. We only lost 13. That's the army that matters. We're gonna lose so many of these units because they're just meat shields for the most part. And we're gonna kill you. Oh my God, Marathi is reinforcing us right now. You poor, poor Russian man. Looks like the Dark Elves and the Russians have been tearing each other apart. So it's good for for us. All right, let's get that. We got another Minotaur unit. Hell yeah, Butchers of Kalkengard. Oh my God, they fought and they wiped each other out. Look at that. Here is our time to strike. There we go, decisive victory. And with this, it spells the end for the Russians. We have so many units of cows now. I can't wait to actually fight our next fight. You're now gonna be able to recruit Minotaurs, Angus. Congratulations. We should be able to take this this turn though. All right, we're declaring war on Marathi. It's only Marathi. All right, we're destroying them. Loot and raise that. Let's go, man. These guys have three freaking armies here, man. This army's not bad. Too bad we're gonna destroy it. Let's ambush them. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Ambushing skeletons with 10. We have 10 units of Minotaurs. All right, where are they? There they are. You poor sorry sods. All right, here we go. Look at Turox charging in faster than Logan Paul when he hears about a crypto scam. Here we have some giant snakes with skeletons riding them versus ginormous cows holding a two-handed great axe. Oh my god. What a fight, man. We lost 38 men. How is that not heroic? New lord, a new name, Big Mac. <laughs> Oh shit, look at this, Malekith has declared war on us. I mean, the Dark Elves have just lost any shred of self-preservation that they had left and have done the equivalent to running headfirst into a freight train. We're gonna have heavy losses right here. Yeah, Marathi's already on our ass, man. Oh my God. Oh, here we go. Mono boys are here. The Mono boys are here. Oh, they're retreating like badly, man. Oh my God, yeah. Marathi's about to die. Everyone attack Marathi. Yeah, there we go. All right. We destroyed them. We absolutely annihilated them. Okay, we barely lost anyone from Turox's army, which is the one we actually care about. The rest of them, 820 meat shields. That's fine. So with that battle, it looks like Marathi is out of the way. Now we can just steamroll the rest of her lands. And with that, we have completed the blood grounds. And this one is a massive blood grounds. We're going to get 64 marks of ruination. So we're currently on 104. And now we're on 187. We're going to get another stack army there. Time to get rid of you guys. Get out of here. So we're going to get you. And then we're going to get you. We're growing. We still have 23,000, man. Like, what do we even want at this point? I don't even know. And now we're going to spread in different directions. We're going to send these guys down there. Turox is going to go and attack these two areas there. Ah, oh, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, we'll get these boys up a bit. We're only 10 settlements away from completing the short victory. And we need another about 40 marks of ruination. Yeah. Oh, easy. All right. Thank you, Turox. Thank you. Raise a herdstone, baby. Let's attack these guys. We don't even care. We're at war with all of the elves. Oh my God. We are just steamrolling at the moment, man. Like, can we be stopped? I don't think we can be stopped. Ip Man versus steroid abusing bulls. I wonder who's going to win.
This campaign is becoming honestly ridiculous. Oh my god, another ritual. We are now on 227 marks of ruination. We have enough ruination to achieve the short victory. Now we just need another five settlements sacked. It's all coming together, boys. That's got nothing. We can take it now. We can literally take it straight away. And now a close victory. Easy. Another herd stone. We have so many armies. We just, we can't lose, man. We literally can't lose. We're so close to a full 20 stack of Minotaur units. We got to keep going till then at least, right? All right, decisive victory. Easy. Oh shit. Ip Man strikes back. I made a fatal mistake. I forgot that Ip Man knows Aikido and he used all 700 kilos of our grade A5 Wagyu steak against us. We only need one more settlement. Oh my, we are running away from this army as fast as we freaking can, man. Oh no, there's another army there. Can we get down there? Can anyone get down there? You guys can. So can you. So can you. Well, it was a good campaign, boys. And here we go. A Pyrrhic victory with units we do not care about. Loot and raise. And with that, we have achieved the short victory. But that's not all. We can't leave it at that. We basically have a full 20 stack of Minotaurs here. We're going to destroy Alistair, who's, who's come way too close to us. Oh, look at him. He's running. He's running for his dear life. Now, I feel like an important point of distinction here is that these cows were not raised for slaughter. They were raised to slaughter. <laughs> Oh my, these guys, pristine white coats are not going to stay white for too long. Look at these. How is this guy already covered in blood like that? Turox versus a giant dragon. Maybe this guy can uh, pose more of a threat. Oh shit, he's knocked Turox on his ass. That is no doubt completely uncharted territory for Turox. Oh no, they've sent giant pigeons out to destroy the steroid heavy cows. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, guys. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work at all. Oh my, this was an absolute slaughter, man. Holy shit. And kill the captives. Yep. Oh, Turox is just a walking beast, man. Oh my god. Now look, we could end it there, but we really want to test this army, this insane army that we've built up. So we're going to go ahead and teleport to the Rune Tortured Axes story mission. And this is going to be the final test for Turox and his big, burly freaking bulls, man. What is with Dark Elves in this campaign? Are we only able to fight freaking Dark Elves, man? Oh my god. We're just going to charge right right in there. They have sword infantry. They have nothing that is going to concern us. Let's watch the awesome chaos unfold. This is what we've created. An absolute death machine. All right, we just got a big blob of, of cows here. I'm not sure what the strategy is. Hmm, this is an interesting uh, build that they've got here. They're trying to push the cow back into the pasture. Uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to go well for you. I'm so sorry, man. Oh, I guess that's what you get for uh, trying to herd the testosterone-ridden cows. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, they are sending these guys flying, man. <laughs> oh shit, maybe these guys are going to do a bit better. They have a forehead walking tier 5 Hydra. This Hydra is completely surrounded right now. Oh my god. No, I don't think the Hydra is having a fun time though, I'll be honest. I mean, I have so many abilities now too. I just, I can't even use them all. Look, I'm struggling to use all of my abilities. Uh, yeah, the reinforcements are here. Why do these guys look like they're straight out of freaking Warcraft 2 or something? I feel like they could have definitely done a little bit better with the graphics for these guys. There's more guys over here. We gotta be careful. Oh, look at this. A giant has entered the fray. Can he do any better than his uh, tiny counterparts? Okay, I'm not sure what his strategy is right now. It's just walking into the middle of an angry bull herd. And fuck this, he says. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Look at that. We lost... 58 men and we killed i don't want to do the math we killed a lot of them all right and with that we have finally come to the conclusion of what the cows can do when they put their horns to it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more remember to hit that subscribe button that's it for this one guys i'll see you in the next one